All right, YouTube. It's been a while. Um, I took it down and got all those plastic things fixed. I'll go over them real quick. It's just been a while. Been very busy with different things. Uh, and I just brought it back home today. So I want to show you the new plastics and stuff they put on. And then show you that fender. They, they did get the full 900 eighths fender on there. And uh, I'm a bit indifferent, but I really do like it. Uh, I think that's what they should have went with. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. So they put a brand new hood on. So that's now fixed. It's not going to come out. Okay. Until it breaks again. Apparently they just keep breaking. They put the whole new skirt on up here at front. I don't know what it's called, but it's called a skirt. Um, when you can see, again, over here, really tight. And after they put it on, it still has a gap. And uh, I just asked the dealer, I was like, so did they change the radiator hose? Because that was what was, it, that's what is rubbing on the plastic right now. And they said there's no fix. Nobody else has reported this problem. So they didn't do anything about it. But you can see it's it's been sitting up at the dealership since they got it fixed for about two weeks now, I think. Almost two weeks. Not a super big deal how long, but it's been sitting out in that 108 degree temperatures that we've been having for the last week and some change. And you can see it's, it's already bowed. Like I haven't ridden this bike, just picked it up today, literally put it on the trailer and drove it two hours home. So um, it's already bowing again. And the bike wasn't running. It was sitting outside um, the whole time it was there. So it's already got the gap back again. So... It's just very interesting that that keeps happening. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm done taking it back and forth to the dealer for a little while. It's just exhausting. Four hour round trip to do this. Um, so, I'll just wait till it gets bad enough and then I'll call him up and be like, it's doing it again or whatever. Anyway, moving on. Okay. So, yeah, it was this, this. And there it is. There is a 900 ace fender on a Wrecker Rally. So, you know, the gap is very, very tight up here at the top and then very tight down here. And I'll, I'll show you that from the other angle, but you can see it just gets really tight. But it fits. It's not rubbing, it's not making any noise or anything like that. Uh, I haven't driven it down the gravel driveway. Uh, to take it for a ride or anything yet. I literally just got it off the trailer and put it in the garage. But uh, I would imagine, kind of like the front fenders, they'll pick up rocks and roll it around in there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe it'll pick up a big enough rock. I don't know. Maybe gouge it, possibly. But, man, that I can't wait till it rains so I can ride it and see if uh, how well it contains the water because before it was just spitting water out right out of here. So that clearly, I think, should not happen. Yeah. Time and a rainstorm will be the judge, honestly. Um, yeah, you can see how tight that wheel is. And I get why some people were looking at it going, well, it shouldn't fit because it's a bigger tire. And it fits. It fits. Other people talked about doing it, and the person that gave the suggestion, I was like, that's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Uh, you can put a 900 ace fender on a record rally. So when I saw it, when they showed it to me, I was like, man, that looks great. I don't need to see the knobbies or anything like that. This looks far better. <coughs> All right, so the final piece. Apparently, this one's just been a problem. Um, and I didn't notice it until after I was almost home. I stopped to... Uh, take a break from the road trip back and I was just walking behind it and I noticed the gap is off again they just changed this whole thing out and it's already out of place again already see that one stays that one goes out of place and it's already out of place again and all like I said all it's been doing for the last two weeks is sitting out in the sun that, that 108 degree weather I mean, you can kind of push it in there, but it just comes right back out. So, 
I think on some of this stuff, we just got to stop caring about it. Just realize that it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so 900 Ace Fender on a record rally. It's very hard to get used to at first because you're used to seeing the tire and you know. And, but yeah, I can't wait to. We're supposed to get rain later this week, so I hope to get it out and try it and see how much water. If it doesn't flick any water, I am going to be tickled pink. Because that, those front wheels, I, I've ridden through puddles and didn't get any water on me. So it'd be great to have that shored up. So, hope that helps YouTube. I don't remember what the mileage is. Where are we at here? Uh, we're at 2,846.65. Okay, yeah. So, I don't think they wrote it much while it was there. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, what's kind of happened recently too, and I don't know if it's heat or it's just the grips, they're what they are, but see how worn out they're getting already? Yeah, based on that mileage, they're already kind of getting worn out. Same thing over here. So I guess at some point, maybe, a, maybe there's a better aftermarket grip you guys could recommend. That'd be cool. That would still kind of fit it, but... Um, something you guys know that's more durable. I don't. I don't live in that world that much. So that'd be a helpful tip. But that's it. I hope that helps. See you all later.